Yeah. Welcome to the second episode of What's the Deal with Jared Lawrence. I am your host, Jared Lawrence, of course. We are in Mudcat Studios, and we got a great show planned for you guys today. We're going to start it off where we left off with the last episode where I was telling you about Eminem and how I think he's coming back strong with a good album. I listened to it. I'm sure most of y'all have listened to it by now. If you haven't, get up, get up from up under that rock, go to Best Buy, pick it up. If you don't have the money, if your funds are hurting right now, download it. I mean, don't tell them I said it, but do what you got to do. It's right now. It's probably the album of the year. It's amazing from start to finish. Starts out strong, ends strong. Um, some of the highlight songs off of it. Going through changes. 23, 25 to life. Uh, Cinderella Man's good. No love with Lil Wayne. Um, the one with Rihanna, Love the Way You Lie. That's probably the smash hit right now. And I think that song probably has the probably has a chance to be one of Eminem's most popular songs that he's ever come out with. But that album's amazing. Second best album I think of the year is probably the Roots album. The Roots album off the chain too, like the Eminem album. The only reason I can't put the Roots album ahead of Eminem's album is because I feel like Eminem's album ends strong, whereas the Roots album, I love every song on it. Don't get me wrong, I love them South Philly all day, Quest Love, uh, Tyreek, I love all of them. But the bonus song is where I kind of, um, you know, I don't know. The bonus song just didn't really do it for me. Eminem, he has a bonus song at the end of his album too. Fire, man, fire. And it's kind of like, if I could compare, it'd be like a perfect game. You know, you're listening to that Eminem album, and you're watching a baseball game, a perfect game, you're like, man, please, please, just make it through. Just make it through with the perfect game. And you're hoping, man, please don't have no whack songs. And you're getting closer and closer to the end, and you're just getting excited. Like, man, don't let that last song be whack. Eminem, song del Eminem delivers on his album. The Roots album, I don't know. It's, it has like a little baby crying on the last song, and it just didn't do it for me. Maybe it's because I'm 27, and I'm not trying to think about babies right now. But that just did not do it for me. Also, the Drake album. Another solid album. I listened to it. It's a little slow, but you know, you can get used to it. You can get used to it. It's good Sunday music. You know, if you don't want to listen to something too crunk, you don't want no plies or a little John and I on Sunday, you know, that's a good album to listen to. Uh, he sings a lot on there, but he also raps because the melodies are a little, the beats are a little slow. Rick Ross album has not dropped yet. It's dropping tomorrow, but I've listened to it. I won't say how, but I've listened to it. Solid album, too. Uh, I like nine out of the 11 songs on his album. Solid album. That BMF song, Blowing Money Fast with Styles P, probably the hottest song right now in the club. I was in the club the other day. They ain't played. I was kind of upset, but I've been in the club when they play it, and let me just tell you, it gets crunk. It gets crunk in there. People go crazy. But let's move on from the albums, and let's talk about some, uh, I don't even know if this is really hip-hop, but it's music news, so I'm going to talk about it. What is going on with the Dream and Christina Milian? I don't know if you guys have heard about this. Supposedly, they, they, they were married. They were married back in 2009. Recently, the dream was caught on some island off in Neverland, wherever he was. Probably thought he wouldn't get caught. He was in some island with his personal assistant. Can we get a picture of her? Okay. We got the picture of the personal assistant. I don't know. A lot of people were kind of, they kind of slamming on her, saying that she's a little busted. I mean, everybody has their own judgment. Me, personally, I'd, I'd hit it. I'd hit it. I, I, you know, that's me. There probably isn't much that I wouldn't, but that's just me. Um, <laughs> the problem, though, that people are having is that they're saying he kind of downgraded from Christine Milian. And I'm not going to disagree with that. The Dream did downgrade in this, in this instance. Terry S. Nash, you downgraded, bro. You downgraded. It's like going to Burger King and saying... Nah, man, I don't want the, the double Angus with, with bacon. Give me the Whopper Jr. That's, that's what it's like. She's not a bad girl, but she's your personal assistant. She writes your checks. Don't worry if she writes rhymes. She writes checks. But look, I'm not, I'm not one to say, you know, who's right, who's wrong. Apparently, they were having some problems in the marriage. And Christina Milian supposedly is delusional about all this. She thought it was still working. You know how girls are sometimes. No shots. No shots at the girls, but sometimes y'all a little delusional. Stuff isn't working, and you just living in that fairy tale land, you know? It's not always like that. So I can kind of see where the dream's coming from, but to be caught in that island, first of all, like, shirt off. I mean, he could have did some push-ups before he went out there. 
Now I'm not trying to judge nobody's body, but he just looked like he looked like a bigger, taller, out of shape version of Big Tigger in that picture. That's just me. That's just me. I have no problems with them though. All right, moving on real quick. New artist watch Big Crit. Just got signed to Def Jam. I told my boy D-Mac about him. I want you guys to check him out. We're going to put a link to his mixtape where you can listen to it. But now I have to get to something very important. I have a rant that's about to start, so prepare yourselves. All right. I don't know if you guys have been listening to the radio or not. Soulja Boy has a new song out called Pretty Boy Swag. Um, they play it a lot on the radio. I'm not sure if you're familiar with it. kind of sounds like uh, if you ever watched Malcolm in the Middle. Sounds like the black dude who, who breathes every 10 seconds. Where he's like, this right here is my swag. All right. Sounds like that. A lot of people are saying that Soldier Boy is the single reason for destroying hip hop. They're, they're blaming the destruction on hip hop on Soldier Boy. Now, this is, this is where I got a problem. I don't care how you feel about Soldier Boy. I don't care if you, like, if you don't like the song, if you like the song. Don't blame Soldier Boy for killing hip hop. Because you know what? Everybody assumes hip hop has to be a certain way. Hip hop is an art form. It's art. You know, when people paint ugly pictures, you don't say, oh, that picture's ugly. Like, that's art. So don't get upset at Soldier Boy, you know? I personally, yes, the song is a little corny, but I still sing it sometimes because it's catchy. But don't get upset at him. This is the problem people have. Nobody had a problem with Vanilla Ice was making Ice Ice Baby, MC Hammer at Hammer Time, and all that. And we had Whoop There It Is and all those songs back in the 90s. You know why? Because the big name artists, they were still at the top. We knew who was still at the top. We knew who were the best work. But now when these, these artists that you don't like are getting more shine than the big name artists, everybody has a problem with that. Don't blame it on them. Step your game up. That's what I got to say, all right? Two, two, two things I mean to say. If you ever watch Juice, yeah, you seen the movie Juice. What happened when, when Bishop got the juice, huh? Q didn't get mad. No, Q got the juice back from him, dropped him off the ledge. End of story. You saw Hook? When, when Pan got there, Rufio, had, Rufio was the man in charge right there. Peter Pan couldn't fly. He couldn't do anything. But you know what he did? He learned how to crow. He learned how to fly. And he took his title back from Rufio. So if you guys are upset at Soldier Boy, don't get mad. Get motivated. Make better music. Get yourselves out there. And if, if, you, if you're confident in the quality of your music, you should have nothing to worry about. Now, I'm not sure how much time we have left, which is pretty much zero. So I'm going <laughs> to get out of this. Before I go, though, follow me on Twitter, at JLawRadio. Also, hit, hit up the Jared Lawrence Radio fan page on Facebook. And Mudcat, while you're at it. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in to the show. And we will see you guys next week. Peace, love, and hair grease.